To start off our project, we did a rubbish audit to establish how much waste and what kinds of waste we generated as a school each day. From this audit, we discovered that most of our waste which we had each day could be reused, recycled or reduced. Our koala Fred purchased what we are hoping to achieve as a school as a result of conducting our rubbish audit. The orange represents the land ever using to start reusing our waste. More, we've re-established our worm farm. We use a bucket to collect our food waste. On it is pictures to show us what we can and can't feed our worms. We have also worked on reusing some of our scrap paper we have finished within our worm farm. The raindrops represent the water and trying to reduce, reuse and recycle to stop pollution of our waterways and oceans. We looked at some video clips and some photos and could see how much damage human waste does to sea and land animals. The blue half of the koala represents the sky. The leaves represent the trees. The rubbish pictures on the side of the koala represent our recyclable waste. If these aren't recycled, they can end up polluting our land and water. As a school, we are trying to recycle more. We have done this by making some bins around the school for recycle only bins. Koala represents us trying to get our road bin or landfill waste to zero. We are doing this by reusing and recycling. The flower represents our rubbish. The head and the globe represents us doing our bit as part of the global community to make our world a better place for the future generations. We loved working together on our creative koala Fred. We learnt lots about how we can look after our environment. It was great that so many people in our school were involved. So did you take what you learned at school home and talk about what you learned at school at home and make some changes at home? Yes. yes. What are you doing we differently at home? Making You're making changes at your home? Very good. You put your koala on display? We did. Yes. We had our koala up in the library and we had our video news report that we did for our project playing so people came up and had their Devonshire tea and sat down and watched the project. We got our message out from our six students and eight staff members and I think there was around 140 visitors to our school for our 150. Wow, what a ripple effect that was. Well done. And all of those people will be going home and talking about your koala and what you've been doing at the school and they'll be thinking about zero waste as well. So congratulations. So Alina, what do you do at your school if you see somebody doing the wrong thing? Tell them to put it in the bin.